what up what up again and, and once again <laughs> we have we have the zigs here and uh no i don't have a fucking boner for this guy god damn like even though i keep making making him my focal point So I haven't watched very much of this. Um, I, I kind of feel like from the, from the get go that he's kind of uh, making this in response to maybe one of uh, the Mayan Jin's videos. Which shout out to fucking Mayan Jin. God damn, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> shout out, to, shout out to all you fucking guys. Shout out to fucking Skyhopper and his and his. And his brilliance divine moth that he saved that he uh put on display and shared with us that that uh spoke directly to me pretty much every fucking thing you do skyhopper speaks directly to me and i feel like we we kind of have this in common <laughs> a lot of us do actually shout out to angie witch moon you uh It's really beyond words. A lot of this stuff is just very... It's hard for me to find the words because the the feeling is so uh, connected with the uh, conductiveness and the continuity of the fluidity of the flow. And it, it's, it's so beyond words. It's directly tapped in, into this inspiration that happens in the moment that I have um, in my connection with you guys. The synchronicities that that you guys remind me of that occurs, it, it's well beyond words. Shout out to Juniperus, I got you, girl. I got you. Shout out to uh, Danny Skylark. Who. Uh, always uh is going to have a piece of my heart always that's we're just like uh i don't know ever since i first started tapping into danny's energy it's like it's not something that i can even pull away from even if i wanted to even if i tried to <laughs> it's not it's not possible that's how it is with with a lot of you uh, I wouldn't want to but uh the the magnetism with within the heart it's so strong that it's uniting more and more of us and it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, the, the, these platforms or what the fuck ever the control stru control structures are trying to uh, manipulate and and ju just so you know this is happening to me on all levels uh, beyond even using the, the technocracy and the technology this is happening to me well it's been happening since I was born but It's lunacy and it's idiocy, but if I'm involved, the clearer we will all see and come to be. So I thank you for tuning in and trying to do whatever you do, whoever you are. I feel you because I am you. So yes. And then of course shout out to the the, the catalyst man Zenat man.
So uh, let's let's see where we go with this. Now, when we talk about our shadow side, our dark side, or whatever, like you know, you you have a dark side to you. It's just basically you not expressing or shedding light to those areas for them to be able to be expressed. Why does this happen? There's a lot of lights that we follow outside of us, okay? Which really what it does is, is it suppresses those... Yes, and by a lot of lights outside of us, he is saying a lot of distractions that have been set up for us to pull away from the true essence that you are, that we are. dilutes the potency of the experience in the now moment whenever you allow yourself to be distracted and you won't be able to help yourself at first and eventually you will start to wake up clear out inside and then the outside is going to be like a little wonky and like what the fuck's been going on ah I'm able to see things for how they really are a little bit more clearer then you're going to start to understand the spells and the spellings what you're doing to yourself and onto others as well dissolving the illusions and the separations dark or shadow aspects of ourself okay and we cannot express those shadow aspects of ourselves through the fear because the the lights that are already created outside of us, all right? Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, the the fear is a whole other fucking uh, whole long discourse in and of itself. I keep having a. Uh, so-called Christians um, present to me this this finding that they have uh, been told. And that's that's the problem right there is that people depend upon being told something. They depend upon the system to tell them how to behave, what to engage, what to think even. So, uh, several Christians came up to me and told me, I just recently heard that worrying is a sin. Did you know that? Worrying is a sin? And of course, uh, where I come from is always, I want to dive into the esoterics. Because I'm always presented with exoterics, well, with, with, with people. And so I, I want to try to dive into the esoterics. And it's been a lesson for me. And uh, how deep to dive. Uh, where to take people. Uh, what people can handle. And Christians are very tricky people. Because they will. Uh, kind of trick you. Into into uh, believing that. They understand things a little bit. Or, or even on uh, some kind of a deeper level. But then, the test, the test is, you present them with deeper level shit, you see how they respond. So in my experience, the response has been uh, uh, neglect and deflection, except for a, f a couple, a very rare few, and that's because of uh, a heartfelt connection, and I allowed a flow to happen to where I was able to communicate with them to where they were able to follow my words into the feeling of our feeling already created outside of us all right by literally extension of you that's interesting and we cannot express those shadow aspects of ourselves through the fear because the the lights that i rewound but it did not so yes they they uh 
with one of these people, I, I talked about how, well, what is worry? Let's, let's dive into worry. Let's dive into where that worry leads to, essentially. It, it leads to a fear. It leads to a, an encapsulation of that fear to where you hold on to it and you allow fear to dictate your mind state and your reality. So really, is worrying a sin or is fear a sin? And and, and fuck, fuck sins. Like, that's, that's all fucking crazy bullshit anyways. But we're talking about here uh, the, pure, the purest essence of that word sin, which is um, a degradation um, from truth into something, into a corruption, into something that... brings a being down into a place where they are in they enter a death spiral and by, by death spiral I mean a, 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 a program a loop program to where their emotions have got the best of them and they are looping those emotions and they're not able to feel or sense their way out of that so in that way fear is not something that we should engage in a way where we allow it to keep repeating itself everything has its fucking purpose people Every single thing, every emotion, every feeling you have, every thought has its purpose. But where we get caught is in that we convince ourselves or we allow other people or the establishment or whatever to convince us of looping that, of staying caught within that and not finding our way out of it. Because fear can have a very... Uh, distinct and exact and direct purpose in the moment. Say if you need to utilize um, a heightened sense in that moment. But even if that's the case, it's not going to be fear in the sense that uh, in the way that you may think of it. It's going to be um, just a trigger. It's going to be a catalyst. And that's the true essence of, of what fear is. It's a catalyst. But we've been taught to get caught up within this and not project ourselves from that original essence of the fearful place to, to catapult ourselves. It's a catalyst. It's a catapult to get yourself out of that shit. Fear is a um, the trigger. It's a signal to get the fuck out of that place because you're not supposed to be there. So fear and worry is a place. It's it's a uh, it's a signal that you're getting to get the fuck out of that. Like no one wants to be in that shit, but most people are in that shit. And then most people traumatize or are traumatized and then continue to numb themselves continue to rely upon the establishment to give them the narcotics and the opiates to numb them so that they don't deal with the pain because the pain has the thing within your fucking membrane to heal you if you fucking listen to it listen to your pain people listen to what it's trying to tell you or already created outside of us, all right, by literally extension of you that you just forgot you did because you created all this is basically creating, <laughs> which is basically an oppression. And, and what it does is it creates a, uh, that, that's where depression comes in, okay? Mm. See, here's the crazy part. Well, the crazy part was just in saying that we create all this because because we do, and uh, that's that's 
like the big fucking issue, isn't it? That we created this shit. That we have been taught to create this shit for ourselves. This is what we are coming out of. Awakening, if you will. To what we are doing to ourselves. And then once we awaken to that, we are able to really have an effect on the collective. And you don't need to push even. You don't need to project. All you need to do is do your inner shit and feel that. Be that. And that fucking reverberates within all of the goddamn collective. All you gotta do is your own fucking inner shit. And that is going to have a snowball effect. More and more people are going to feel that just from you healing yourself. Okay? You just... That's all we need to do is start healing ourselves. And then... When we, when we regain our foundations and clarity of the true roots and the causalities... Then we can really have a lasting beneficial effect. We we see where <laughs> I think there's some storms that are coming in. I'm seeing a lot of lights in my windows. We see Where to put our focus and energy. Where that's most beneficial. We feel into this. And whenever something comes about and presents itself to us. That is just complete bullshit and indoctrination. Then we can just release that and not get caught up in it. Or we can choose to try to help the person. Or, or whatever but. Ultimately, we can only do so much, so we have to present what we can to people in a certain way, in a most effective way that we can, and uh, leave it up to them to to integrate for themselves, because it's, it's up to all of us to integrate for ourselves, transmute, become our own shamans and alchemists of our own reality up to each and every individual to do that for themselves. When we talk about shadow, darkness, whatever it may be, we think of it and we become fearful of it. Or we just tend to... See, this, this is one thing that gets me is when people start to, you know, in the spiritual community and whatnot, and they start to say, you know, love and light, spiritual attacks and protection... So here's the thing, if you knew your power and you knew how this shit really fucking is, <laughs> you would feel no need for protection, because I mentioned this in the previous video. <laughs> you are your protection. You got to realize what that word really means. You got to realize what you really are and the totality of your own beingness, not just not just micro and macro, but just, just talking about your own physicality, your own beingness. The subtle fields, the subtle bodies, you have you have several bodies, people, beyond the physical body that you're used to uh, seeing, feeling, engaging within. You have so many more subtle bodies that you can engage with that we're not taught this shit. We're not taught to engage this stuff because then the control structures lose their power. They can't manipulate us anymore and siphon our energy and awareness away from us. Where protection that you're setting up now takes you out of your empowerment because you're prepping for something that isn't existing in your now moment. Big lightning strike is just happened right now. Let's see. Wow, I'm still not hearing the thunder. 
That was a long ways away, and it lit up the sky. Wow. It was probably way far up. We've been having a lot of lightning that's... Hmm. There it goes. Way far up. Ooh, it still shut the windows a little bit. Good. I may have to sh cut this short so I can go out there and become electrified and enlightened. Because you're prepping for something that isn't existing in your now moment. Okay, so sometimes I have to rewind a little bit so, <laughs> so I can remind remind a little bit. This is exactly right. Uh, you you have been drawn out of the moment uh, to such a point where you feel like you need protection. And this is um, I created a video like one of my just just a long a, a ways back ago about protection and I kind of just went off a little bit about you know not needing words to communicate and what is protection and this is exactly fucking right dude you don't you don't need fucking protection because you are the goddamn protection and whenever you think you need something like that then that automatically transitions your flow and energy and essence outside of you outside of relying upon engaging with what you do as a fucking human need what do you really need anyways if you can't protect yourself then you're going to be relying upon something outside of you and yes, we can we can utilize tools and aids and and things of this nature, entheogens, plant spirit medicines. We can utilize things to help us gain insights. This is a different this is a different story here. We're we're not uh, we're not depending upon this. And if you do become dependent upon anything, then that becomes a crutch eventually. This, this is how the show works. So realize what you are doing. First and foremost, realize what you are doing within yourself. Realize what you are creating in every single moment with your mentality, with your thoughts. Yes, this is going to be easier said than done because you have to deprogram and re-enliven the, the truth inside of you. How do you do that? Well... You, you integrate, you engage things like meditation. You go into nature to where you can feel this living flow and this, this living book of life. You can remember how to listen again, within and without. And then eventually, you can begin to feel again. You are the now moment, and when you come out of that now moment, because this is this is where your most empowered state here in this third realm is, is for you to be in, be the now. Because that's what this third realm is about. If you're doing... Yeah, and I'll just cut in real quick just to say... Um, you have your fucking Eckhart to Tolle or whatever, and, uh, you know, the power of now, and, uh, a lot of, a lot of the shit that this new agey and spiritual, quote-unquote, spiritual people will, will talk about the now, they, they don't fucking get what that means, they do not understand what the fuck that means, and, uh, they will be engaging in, in a kind of now that's a kind of aloofness to where, um, 
they're oh they're so caught up in the now moment oh my gosh this this they're caught up in in emotion it's not the fucking now moment that's not what that that's not what it's about the now moment is feeling every emotion in in the moment collapsing all of it into the center into the monad That now moment that is spoken of is every fucking moment that has ever existed that will ever exist. And if you can't tap into that, you don't know what the fuck the now moment even means. You have access to every fucking thing. You were given this. We were all given this. We have all been indoctrinated into... Not engaging in this. Something else. You're disempowering yourself in this now moment. This is why yes. when you see law of attraction videos and you see all this, they tell you visualize it as if it was already. Exactly. In the now. Because that's utilizing your power of creation whenever you. Material. Whenever you imagine, you use your imagination for creation, and then you you build the bridge. You you come. You unite the imagination with the felt experience. Then that's going to have a reaction. The universe is going to respond to that. And that's where manifestation comes into play. And you can get uh, more and more into the crazy world of uh, tapping into your your mentality, your imagery, with your felt experience. And how quickly that manifests. Which means you are the now. That experience is now. But the moment you start even thinking of the process, exactly. you're disempowering yourself. Oh. You're already doing something. Ooh, and actually, that is that is a deep level meditation, shite people. Whenever you get into deep level meditation, you're in the no thought. And whenever you start to engage in any kind of thought, that takes away from that state of beingness. It draws upon certain sources and uh, energies, certain focal points. And this is, this is the quintessential essence of meditation, to not allow these thoughts or these things to bring you out of your center point, of your focus point, of your meditative place. And the, the point of meditation and any kind of practice, like a yoga practice, a meditation practice, is that you can make it a perfect, a, you know, it's not a practice anymore. You don't have to practice it. You just are it. You become it. You realize what yoga is, yoking your reality. Meditating into infinity and realizing that all of life is meditation, is all a focus. Where choosing where you put your focus, that's that's the key here. Realizing that you have a choice again. That has nothing to do with you. Your job is to just visualize it as if it was already happening with emotions, your imagination. Beautiful. But the moment <laughs> you start to just think about the process, yeah. all right? That's you trying to control shit and not allow it, okay? So, look at darkness, light. If you really want to, excuse me, now, I get air coming out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I either. But, you know, you basically, you know how you breathe in, you breathe out, right? We all share the same space, right? There's light when you breathe in, there's death when you come out, right? There's always going to be a cause and an effect. All the light you see outside of you was a cause from a blueprint, the darkness 
that we would call the shadow. Okay? And it is expressed out here as is. This is why I say be the change you want to see. But being the change you want to see, would you literally be embracing and understanding the shadow aspect of this? See, one thing that I've noticed, <laughs> you know, spiritual attacks, protection, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. See, I came to a realization that it can only harm me if I believe that it can harm me or if I believe that I am able to be harmed. Oh my God. There's just so much there. Coming back to into our own power and like I'm I'm the the one of the main fucking pillars that I'm about is empowerment, self empowerment. Realizing what you are doing to yourselves. Realizing that you are the one that chooses to step in or step out of any kind of situation. You choose the engagement by your thought. But we have been taught to not be very uh, concrete in our thought, to not be very... To not, to not really feel our thoughts anymore. We have been taught to allow thought to uh, run amok. The monkey mind. And so that we don't realize what we, are, we have been taught to do upon ourselves. And then we do upon others. And the cycle keeps repeating and repeating. And getting more and more convoluted and um, just insane with the agenda and the, the control structure and not people not being able to feel like what is real anymore it's uh, it's getting more and more crazy and it, uh, now I can say that it's got to the point where I did not think it was going to get this crazy. So, I mean, something's got to give, you know. We're at a point where uh, people are, are, are just at about as much as they can take. So, we're, we're about to see the collective um, be expressed in the individual, in, in the micro. We're about to see the macro crumble. Because of all this shit that's happening on the individual level within so many people. Okay. I will tell you right now with, with my experience, okay? The more I am looking into this, the more I am getting an understanding of the broader perspective of things. This is why I say you see the connectivity and you see then the conductivity of everything. Okay? A lot of people want to protect themselves. Nothing's happening. This is you positioning yourself for something, right? But oh, how about... That's a, that's a beautiful thing here. Transform your mentality and your words, your realities. Transform your words. Um, protection. Transform that into positioning. Positioning yourself into a certain point. Because that's really what protection is. It's just repositioning to yourself in a certain state of being. And if you ever want to call upon something outside of yourself for protection, right then and there, you are you have disempowered yourself because you have failed to realize that you are everything.
It, see, and a lot of people who do these spiritual protections and all that, they, they're doing it from a place of fear. Oh, see, the reason they do it is that they don't want to feel <laughs> They don't want to experience a, 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 a dark or shadow aspect. That's why yes. they, 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 what are you protecting yourself from? You're protecting yourself from what? Yourself, basically. Exactly. See, the moment you... How about instead of protecting yourself, okay? How about mm. you put on that armor, <laughs> all right? And you go head on with, with... Now, your mentality is not where you're sitting there and you're protecting yourself from something. How about you're putting it on now to bait this to happen. Now, when this happens, oh, now, yes. the more experience you have, the more wisdom you gain. The more power you gain whenever you are going to add something because now you're getting, you're getting an understanding of it, an understanding of it. Not even an understanding, the understanding of it. When you have the understanding, you'll have the understanding. Mm. Overstanding. I don't even know if he got if he realized what he just fucking said basically he just said bait and switch he just said you realize what the fuck's going on and you you bring it upon so that you can transmute it and transform it <laughs> and this is the aspect of us shamans of us uh, hunters of the corruptions bait we bait this shit in so that we can transmute it I do this shit constantly and it's uh it's becoming more and more prevalent. It's becoming more and more re relevant. And the resonance. And more and more people are able to feel this. More and more people are able to uh, just see it. Um, in my engagements with with the youngins, they look in my eyes and they. At first, they are taken back by the intensity, and then I, I give them a glance of purity, and their heart melts and reflects in kind with my heart, and they can't help but hug me and every time this melts me every time whenever I have a chance to look into a a young child's eyes and I'm 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 oh I'm gonna fucking read for you guys uh, some, some some goddamn education so that you goddamn fucking realize what the fuck's going on with this as within so without in this learning the the teacher and student aspect you got you got it all fucking wrong because if you're indoctrination bullshit that's that's not how this shit works the youngins teach us through their goddamn feelings and if you don't get this shit you don't get any fucking thing at all. Teacher, student, that role flips in upon itself. Whenever you allow your heart to be shared with a young person, with a child, you learn way more from them if you can remember how to listen and this is the main message here in this fucking video remember remember how to listen again to what is within and that will be reflected to you 
in kind to remind of what we all are. Feel it, be it, unite it, transmute it. Peace.